Guess what time it is? It's Vlogmas! It's Vlogmas! <laughs> it's Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas. What's it say? It says 11. Yep. <laughs> What's it say on the back? 11. <laughs> Read oh, that. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Please stop uh, being Snowman important. pancake breakfast. Woohoo! Eat up. Yeah. Hang 10. Hang 10. Oh, right on. <laughs> Party time. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. We're also going to read day nine because while daddy makes the snowman pancakes, we're gonna do day nine. Make a winter garment. Yeah. We're gonna read day five too. We're gonna read day five. <clears throat> See a movie in the theater? Yeah. And we are going to go see Clifford and the Big Red Dog. I'm so excited. <laughs> are you excited? Am, is it, I just turned 17, and I am very excited to see Clifford the Big Red Dog. And it's her birthday, so she gets to pick. So she gets to pick what we're doing. So we're going to make a garland and start a puzzle and go to a movie and have snowman pancakes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this. That's really sad that they're literally tweezers and I'm like ecstatic. Mom's excited. Mm -hmm. Give card to Marshalls. Marshalls, $50. Okay, my in there. I got him another fun doctor. Same exact one as this guy. Mm hmm. Got Aang. Three of the other elements. Fire Benjamin. Dragon of the Wet. I like these ones. Some other one of Zuko. Mm-hmm. And then then. Alright, Miss Jelly Bean, day eleven. Red bag. And this person's really big. Oh, I know. <laughs> Is it fluffy? No. I got uh, McGonagall. I love McGonagall. But she's oh, really sweet in real life. She's my favorite. Oh, I love her. It's flat and floppy. Mm. <gasps> it's a floppy disk. <laughs> nah. -huh. Do you know what a floppy disk is? This one was a kind of toy. I know. It's was, a CD. It was a six. It's uh, a very five, five small and a half CD. Inch five and a half inch disc that you would use on the first types of computers and they were floppy. So 
So you call them a floppy disk. <laughs> but it's sticky. I know what a floppy disk is. is. And yesterday's Buffalo Bob's Beef and Pheasant Stick. Can I have it? Exotic jerky. Oh, for Christmas. No. I decided, I decided for her birthday because then if I gave it to her for Christmas, she wouldn't really get to wear it and she really wants to wear it. You like it? It's yes. a giant one. It's like you picked it out or something. I know. And yeah. it's, not, it's not too expensive. No? It's pretty good. Yeah. Hello, sweet friends. It is such a busy day and there is lots of noise going on out in other parts of the house. So I will try to do my best to talk loudly so you can hopefully hear me and not that. It is my daughter, Emma's birthday she is 17 today which is just crazy and so we are doing all kinds of things we have fallen way behind in all of our advent activities so we are making a christmas garland we are starting a christmas puzzle we are going to a movie theater and emma Pitt, clifford the big red dog <laughs> she's been wanting to watch it so we are going to go see that um her boyfriend dylan is coming over to give her birthday presents um and to go to the movie and out to dinner with us. Um, but I wanted to open my advents really quick. So let's start with Alice in Wonderland. Yesterday we were at the tea party and you guys, we only have two days today and tomorrow left. And then Christmas day, I cannot believe it's already over, but okay. Alice wandered into the queen's garden Soon along came the royal procession, and who should be the royal trumpeter? But the white rabbit himself. The Queen of Hearts asked Alice to play croquet, but Alice did not like the look of the game. Off with her head, cried the queen. Away Alice ran, while the army of cards gave chase down all the tangled paths of Wonderland and back to the river bank. Oh no, on our jack card. And it says, Alice found herself near the exit of Wonderland with a head full of memories from her time there. Oh my God. I do have a head full of memories from my time spent opening this amazing advent from Amber. I have loved every single thing that she has given to me and created for me. It's just beautiful. This is such a pretty box. Oh my goodness. They are beautiful postcards. So much noise in my house. Oh my gosh. So on the back, they all are postcard um, things, but they have Alice and the March Hare and the White Rabbit and the Mad Hatter. Alice at the White Rabbit's house. Alice lost and trying to find her way. Oh, this one's my favorite. Alice at the tea party, the queen of hearts and the dormouse and the Cheshire cat. Alice and caterpillar. Alice who's too big. The mad tea party. Painting the roses red. Alice and Dinah. The Cheshire Cat, and of course, the Mad Hatter himself with a cake on his head. Oh my gosh, I love those so much. There's also um, a little purple bag in here. And a sticker that's Girly Girl Creations Custom Vinyl Designs. goodness she had a pen made for me that says we're all mad here and it has the hatter on it and teacups oh my gosh I love that oh and those postcards are so perfect oh my goodness Okay, and I have day 11 from Rachel, and it says, life is 
infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man could invent. Arthur Conan Doyle, A Case of Identity. Mm. <laughs> she wrapped this one so it says wanted on the front. That's so cute. Ew. We have another beautiful blue moth and another fun journaling page with blue fortalies on the back. So pretty. And this one definitely feels like a book. <laughs> Bronte Sisters Mystery, The Vanishing Bride by Bella Ellis. The Bronte Sisters as sleuths. What a delicious idea. Oh my goodness. Before they became legendary writers, Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte were detectors. Yorkshire, 1845, a young wife and mother has gone missing from her home, leaving behind two small children and a large pool of blood. Just a few miles away, a humble parson's daughter, the, Bront the Bronte sisters, learn of the crime. Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte are horrified and intrigued by the mysterious disappearance. These three creative, energetic, and resourceful women quickly realize that they have all the skills required to make for excellent lady detectors. Not yet published novelists, they have well honed imaginations and are expert readers. And as Charlotte remarks, detecting is reading between the lines. It's seeing what is not there. As they investigate, Charlotte, Emily, and Anne are confronted with a society that believes a woman's place is in the home, not scouring the countryside looking for clues. But nothing will stop the sisters from discovering what happened to the vanished bride, even as they find their own lives are in great peril. Oh my goodness. This sounds so good. I think Rachel has read this before. In fact, I'm almost positive that she has. Oh, and look! To Lydia. Love Rachel, as usual. I'm going to have to go back and open these because now this is two books that have little things hidden in them. I'm going to have to go and find out. But there are two beautiful bookmarks in here. One is from Wuthering Heights, which is my favorite book of all time. And it says, if all else perished and he remained, I should still continue to be as if all else remained. If he were annihilated, the universe would turn to a mighty stranger. Wuthering Heights, Emily Bronte. And then this one is from Jane Eyre. And it says, I would always rather be happy than dignified. From Charlotte Bronte. Those are gorgeous. They're like, they look almost like book spines. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to have to go back and look at all of the books she gave me now because there have been little hidden things in each one of them. She's such a little stinker. Little stinker, her. And again, you guys, all of these beautiful book covers. This one's gorgeous, too. Okay. And then we also have an evidence bag today. So, as usual, it says, Agency, Advent 2021, item number five, case number one, date of collection 1211, collected by me, description of evidence, suspect information. So last time we learned about Lucy Vu, our fashion designer. So I'm curious to see who we're going to learn about this time. Okay, so we have Mona. Occupation, socialite and rust restauranteur. It's unclear how Mona knows McAllister, although it's likely that they move in some of the same circles. However, there seems to be friction between the two. They were heard arguing in McAllister's office. It's unclear if the friction is the result of some previous business interaction or romantic involvement. It's interesting that she showed up in a Lucy Vu dress taken from last year's Sable collection. Quote, there isn't a party in town that I am not invited to taste, and my name on any guest list signifies that the host has good taste as well. It's only fitting that I'm here. Besides, I think McAllister has his eye on me, and who could blame him? Such a shame that Mr. LeCompte was murdered. I didn't even know him. I'm sure he was a nice enough fellow. Hmm. She sounds kind of hoity-toity, like she thinks she's all that. 
So I've got my eye on Miss Mona here. Okay. And then last but not least, I have my beautiful little advents from my kiddos. So day 11. Oh, and on the inside, it's like a hidden treasure. Noah's picture is down here. That one's really pretty. That one added back in the pink and the blue. And then day 11 from Jelly Bean says, Today I was on a walk when we came across some giant mushrooms that were purple and blue. Open day 11. A little box here. <laughs> Do I have a little mushroom that's made out of clay? A tiny little mushroom. So big mushroom, little mushroom. <laughs> so cute. Oh, today was another great day. I'm just loving my advents. So I only have one more day of presents from my kiddos and one more day of presents from Amber, aside from Christmas day, of course, but I still have 13 days of books from Rachel and I'm so excited to see what else she's going to give me. But okay, now we are off to do all kinds of birthday things with my girl. Okay. Is it a dollar? <laughs> dollar nineteen? No. This is no. <laughs> did you make this? Yeah, I did. Really? Yeah. My mom did not make this. <laughs> that one was that one came out really bad. <laughs> like that did not that was not what it looked like. I like it. It's cute. Why do all my faces look like that? Don't worry, it just gets it gets it gets better. I know she's like, which one do you like? Which one would you send to Granny if uh, you picked one? I was like, mm-hmm, this one. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! 